Oh man, this game. I'll tell you what, this game. I've never seen these bugs in this game before, but... Come on, cutscene. Oh no, not this again. We got Valentine Morgan, who I'm guessing is his mother. Unbelievable. You will also be able to return back soon. Okay, thank you for that incredible advice. Very soon, you'll be able to go back to where you came from. Are his nails painted? Looks like his fingers were painted purple. What the hell? <laughs> she doesn't have any pal- Like what? She doesn't have any polish at all. Yet one of the twins has some? That doesn't make sense. Must have been lighting. Lighting must have just been weird. <laughs> okay, are any of you going to do anything besides blow kisses over my head? That would... If none of you are going to do anything, then I'm leaving. <laughs> she didn't even give me a kiss. She just laughed at me. <laughs> She's going to laugh at me, too. Oh, what a jerk. Oh, great. I bet Thomas will blow us a kiss. Goddamn Thomas. You also need to have more fun. Why are his nails painted? I'll play with you a little if you like. Oh, no. No. Go. Leave. 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 Red alert. DEFCON 1, get the fuck out of this area. Thomas is going to play with us. I don't think so. Expect no praise. You did nothing but your duty. Psh, I went beyond duty. I don't know what you're talking about. Francis, well done. I'm sure your father wants to congratulate you. I swear that's Emily's model and animations, just in like a different dress with her face blacked out. Like, look at the way she moves her hand here. Francis, look at that. Well done. I'm All right, whatever. At the very least, it's an animation that Emily uses. I don't know if uh, the other... Probably, like, every character uses it. For some reason, I just associate it with Emily. Sure wish I knew what happened that led up to this. That would have been great. I'm sorry. But I can't allow you to go with your parents yet. There is still something you need to do. Open that envelope. Okay. What does it say? What's in it? Okay. Well, that solved. That solved none of my questions. Agent York. Finally, you're awake. How long have I been out? A whole day, uh, plus ten hours or so. I wanted to challenge you to a game, but uh, uh, you were asleep. Emily, which room is Emily in? Emily? What, she hurt too? She hasn't come into the hospital. Well, that's bad. I told Kaysen to bring her here. Kaysen? Well, Kaysen came. I mean, he's the one who brought you here. Uh, which reminds me. He asked me to give you this. What is it? I don't know. He just asked me to hand it to you after you woke up. Anyway, 
You solved the case, right? Hey, do you want to play some chess? Sorry. I'll have to take a rain check. I have an urgent issue I need to attend to, and I need to leave the hospital. Oh, no. Is there another alternate hospital I have to go through to get out of here? Zach, I have a bad feeling about this. Please, I don't want to have to go through, like, another alternate hospital. Dilapidated hospital, whatever the hell you want to call it. Whatever it is, I don't want to do it. I don't even know what's left. There isn't much left. Unless there's another, like, alternate place to go through. In which case, it would be, like, one or two of those and then another boss fight. There shouldn't be a whole lot left. Some of the cutscenes might get kind of dragged out. I think it's mostly the cutscenes that I'm worried about. Oh, great. We got to drive there. Cool. You got the key from Kaysen. It's two frames per second. And the map, which is fine. All right. I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Oh, there's a big dog over there. Oh. How about we just get in the fucking car and leave? There is a giant dog over there. And I don't know what he's doing. Alright. Well. Uh, excuse me, sir. Zach, I'm getting a really bad feeling about all this. I truly believe George was the murderer that we were after. Killing him, of course, did not solve all the murders related to the Red Seas. I do not know if what Harry said is true at all. But the answer to the mystery of those Red Seas is here in this town. I'm sure of that. I have no idea if this is the right way. FBI agent. I left Emily alone as I slept through an entire day. Zack, I need you to pray with me. Pray that things have not gone too far. Okay, I think I went the wrong way. The location written in Kaysen's letter. Not exactly sure where the exit is. I'm gonna assume maybe right here. Oh, it's right here. Good. I just went the wrong. Oh my God! What the fuck? Why are there dogs raining from the sky? Like, they just fall out randomly. I don't get it. These enemies haven't been in the game. Up until this point. Another one just fell. I heard it. I swear another one just fell. I keep hearing them. Ah, don't worry, boys and girls. It's only a mere 3,000 yards away. One last long drive before the game mops up, I'm sure. Oh, there's a dog right there. Let's just drive right around that guy. Hey, you know, no problem. It's just one long final drive home. I would really like to know how much of this game is spent just driving. I would really like to know. The Nick mission alone adds like 25 minutes of just pure driving and doing nothing but driving. Like, I know there's a fast travel. Oh my god. I know there's like some weird fast travel thing that you can unlock if you do some of the side missions. At least one for George, but. I have no idea if I should turn left up here or what. Alright, so... That is over there. I guess it doesn't really matter. I'll probably run into it no matter what. Uh, this looks like it leads away, so I should... Actually, I'm going to take this road here. Oh my god! What is this dog doing? My car is invincible. 
don't know why he's attacking me. My car is apparently invincible and will never run out of gas. The new Tesla Sheriff police car. I fucking hate these dogs. Oh shit! I ran right into it and he didn't care. Look at the hitbox on this thing. The hitbox on that dog is ridiculous. I've never seen a dog with like a rectangular hitbox. They didn't even try. Oh, this looks like the wrong way. Yeah, I'm gonna go right over to this road over here. Jesus. All right, 500, well, 650 yards, 600 yards, five, oh, there's a dog. 500-ish yards to go. What is this music? The car is so unresponsive, why? Does this car exist if it's that unresponsive? All right, we've made it. Almost. We're almost there. Almost. Three-point turn. There you go. And we're here. Oh, wait. Hold on. There we go. Jesus. George's house. So we end up at George's lair. Good thing George is dead, so it doesn't matter if we break in. Alright, seems like George liked to live a little bit on the lighter side. And by lighter side, I mean he has nothing in his house besides, like, wooden 2 by 4s and that aluminum stuff you put in your house. This is most strange, Zack. I thought this story was all over. Well, you don't put it in your house, but... But it looks like there's something else before we get to see the ending. You know what I'm talking about. This looks like the stuff they put up to, like, fortify buildings during terrible weather. The hell was that? Apparently he just has like a secret door. It's a whole bunch of like mannequin, like there's nothing here, this is sad. Oh, what the fuck? Uh... Okay, apparently I just had to hold it, otherwise he goes careening off of the wall. Man, what was he doing down here? He's got a whole wall obsessed with Emily. Zach, it looks like George really had a thing for Emily. How'd you figure that one out, detective? The wall is covered with Emily's pictures. I don't think Emily needs to see it. Look at this. This thing is like the most... Like, why would he even try to hide that there's a, a hole in the wall here? It was like the most obvious thing in the world. I'm... Okay, there we go. Like, it's super obvious something's there. I don't... Oh, that's lovely. 
Meeting the mother is always a bad experience after killing the son. Gasp! Zack, look. That wasn't a reversed peace mark. Kaysen. He's the one. Emily. <laughs> 